Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm here with some more FTB quick tips and in this episode I'm actually following up what I did last time with our uh, ME system. I'm going to show you guys how to make your ME system even more efficient than before and this is kind of like a follow-up um, further into the game crafting area for it. So basically right now I'm just going to set up a very very small little ME system which is going to include having the ME controller, an ME access terminal, and a crafting terminal. But then I'm going to add something to it which is very awesome which is this ME drive. Now this ME drive takes place as an ME chest as we talked about in the last episode. If you guys haven't seen that there's a link in the description to watch it. But these take place as the housing for the chest and what you can do with that is place your ME storage cells or your ME storage right into the drive and there you go. So you can see if we have these we can place them right in there and it can hold up to 10 of them. And of course you can have these guys stack on top like this and you can continue these guys out. Now as they fill up the colors change on here as well as how they change on here with different colors. So as they come to the end the color will turn from green to blue and it's very cool. It's almost like it's just like a housing for it. So you can see when we place our items into here um, they're going to come out and they're going to be on this drive right here. So that's very, very cool. So that's the very first thing I want to show you guys, which is very simple. Now let's move on to auto crafting. Now this is something that took me some time to figure out, but I realized how easy it is in the end. So let's talk about that. Uh, what you're going to need for auto crafting is these three basic things. Uh, an ME pattern provider, an ME heat vent, and an ME assembly, uh, assembler containment wall. Now what you can do with these guys is place them down, and this is actually uh, applied energistics only multi-block block in a way. So uh, what you have to do is place them down in a certain pattern and fill it in. Now the smallest you can make it is a 3x3, three three, and you can see you can place it like that, but that only gives you one slot in the middle, so I'm going to make it a little bigger than that. I'm going to do a 4x4 four four for this tutorial, but I believe you can go bigger. I use a 5x5 five 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 on Blockville, but... I mean, it's just my preference. I'm not sure exactly what the max is, so I apologize for that. I couldn't quite find it quick enough on the forums. And um, anyway, let's go like this. So you're going to want to make a square structure around and keep the centers hollow. And of course, these assembly chambers, I forgot to say, were made by taking four iron, four gold, and one quartz. And then what you want to do is place these guys right here, these ME heat vents, which are made by taking four iron, four iron bars and an ME cable and you're going to want to place them like this, that, like that, like that, like that and then I'm just going to leave this open for this time being. And what we need to place in here are some ME pattern providers and that's going to require four iron, one or two conversion matrix, one advanced processor, one storage cell and one, uh, <laughs> one crafting bench. I'm going to place four of these in here and then I forgot about this CPU. So you need the crafting CPU, which is this right here. Um, that's going to be 4 iron, 2 quartz, 2 glowstone, and uh, 1 ME advanced processor. What you can do with that is then place it here, and you need at least 1 CPU, I believe, for this guy to work. But you guys have to remember that you have to fill this entire thing up for the block to activate, and as soon as we place this, it's going to turn into its final form. You can see we have 4 pages of items to place in here, and it's very cool. Now all you have to do for this to work is connect it to your main ME system. So there we go, it's connected to there, and that means it is ready to work. So what we could do with this now is grab ourselves, first of all, this ME pattern encoder. And what you need to do to craft that is for our uh, seven iron, one conversion matrix, and a crafting bench. And you actually do not need to have this part of your network, so don't hook it up with anything, it's just useless. Then you're also going to need this ME blank pattern. Now this ME blank Blank pattern is crafted by taking two glass, three glowstone, one quartz crystal, and three iron. And what you're going to do is place it right here in that. And then you're going to head over here. So I'm going to grab myself some cobblestone. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to place this right here. I'm going to take one piece of cobblestone. And it actually creates a ghost image of it. So you can see if I go like that, it's going to go like that. But if I don't want it, I can remove blocks by clicking on them. But if I want to add them kind of like this, you can see, add them, we can make them stack up. But we're going to remove this. So I'm going to teach this machine how to make 
some stone brick. So stone brick and code, and now we got four stone brick from four iron. So we can place it in here, and you can see if we hit shift, it's going to show us what item will be crafted. So like this, it's not like this, it will. Very cool. Now if we come over here, you can see that we do not have any stone brick in here. But the stone brick is going to come up with a recipe or an item right here that says craft. Now if you click on that, it prompts you with this ME crafting. And you can choose how much stone brick you want to make. So let's say I want to make 64, 2 stacks, 3 stacks. I want to make 4 stacks. Begin. There we go. It's going to turn all this stone. And there we go. We get it into stone bricks. Now you can encode this guy to do anything. So let's say we want to teach you how to make crafting benches. Uh, we can head over here. And I need another blank... Uh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna grab this guy and we're going to place him in here and we're gonna teach him how to make crafting bench and code. There we go. And we can place him in there and now we can request some crafting benches. Why not? Uh, minus 64. There we go. And we just made a whole bunch of crafting benches. Very simple and very fun and useful. So, um, anyway guys, that's pretty much what I have for you in this video. If you guys enjoyed, could you please leave a rating and let me know how I did, and, um, suggest some other things if you want to learn in this ME system, but, um, anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.